please excuse whatever mess is like in the background i'm redoing my room and so are my brothers so like their stuff was put in here my room is just a mess so so it's spooky season so i decided that today we're going to be talking about some paranormal experiences that i've had and i say paranormal because i don't think these are ghost stories i just think that mine are coincidences because my life is not that interesting i've said jokingly like a million times that i think my house is haunted like ever since i moved in well not even like jokingly i've said i think my house is haunted and i believed it fully ever since i moved in here like weird little things have been happening but it's not like the conjuring where like you move into a house and then you see like they threw a table at me Ah, ghosts! Like, it's not that type of situation. It's just like random little things will happen that, like, I don't know, that lead me to believe that it's like haunted. When I say that I think that I could be like haunted, I think everyone's haunted. If those people choose not to believe in ghosts or like the paranormal or anything, they'll just show themselves less. If you're open to spirits and paranormal stuff and everything, then the ghosts will definitely- Or not even the ghosts, but like, spirit will show themselves a lot more. At least that's what I've heard. I don't know how true any of that is. I think it's pretty true because it's based on like actual like real life experiences. I probably sound absolutely insane. Anyways, let's just get into the story. So I have this note where I write down a bunch- Okay. Where I write down a bunch of stuff that like happened. I'm just gonna read these because they're all from like throughout the year and not just like one specific time. But I'm gonna read them and give you my thoughts versus from when I wrote these. Does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense. I think you guys know what I mean. Anyways, I wrote that random things are moving and falling when I'm not near them. And then I wrote down that a hanger moved. Something slipped in my bathtub and I don't know what else but it made it... I don't know what it is, but it made a slipping noise. I don't remember that. So my lack of like detail really is not helping me right now. I do remember like being freaked out because something moved, but I don't remember the story at all. Like I seriously don't remember the story, but I had a similar experience the other day. I don't know, maybe that one was just a coincidence or something. <coughs> Oh my god, now my eyes are gonna water for a million years. McKenna has been randomly waking up at 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. for the past few nights. When she wakes up, she realizes that her closet door is open or closed differently from how it was when she went to sleep. I remember her telling me this. When she would fall asleep with it closed, she would wake up and it would be open or something. And then she claimed to like wake up with scratches. I don't know about that one. She has long nails, so like she could have easily scratched herself because it was like three in a row. So like if her hand was laying there, she easily could have scratched herself. I'm gonna blame that one on her. I'm just gonna blame the scratching on her, but the closet door, I don't really understand. Like no one would go in her room when she was sleeping and just open and close her closet door. Like they don't need to. They don't need anything from her closet, so. Oh, this one's about my dog. And I am honestly a firm believer of like animals and children can see a lot more than like adults and teens when it comes to the paranormal. I don't know. It's just like something about them. Like if you look up literally anything of like a ghost story with a kid, it's always like imaginary friends or like things that like things you could easily blame on a kid's imagination, like stuff like that. I think that's why ghosts are like spirits are more comfortable showing themselves in front of children. And then animals, because animals can't talk. My dog would go from like looking out the window at something by our front door and then he would literally walk all the way through the living room and then there's like these three windows in the back of our kitchen. He would go there and then continue like looking out the window. I don't really know how to explain it. His head would just be like following something as he was walking. Like it would look like he was trying not to lose what he was seeing if that makes sense. Like if you're walking and then you see like let's just say a red car and it's driving and like you would follow it with your eyes. That's what he was doing but like with nothing there and he did this on multiple occasions. The one in here said dating back to March 13th. He did that so many times and I think he still does it sometimes. I don't know, that one really weirded me out though because I remember being really freaked out because he would do it literally all the time. This one's gonna need some backstory. So a while ago, I was filming this video. Okay, so basically it was a get ready with me video and you can see like a shadow like rising up to the ceiling but the quality is so awful that you can't even see it. And I don't know if you can see it. I tried to like edit it to where you could see it better. This shadowy thing just like rose to the ceiling. I just found all that really, really weird. A few months ago, I was sitting in this exact same spot where it happened. My hot glue gun was on and I looked at the hot glue gun and I saw a puff of smoke and I was like, 
So I thought my hot glue gun was starting on fire, like smoking or something. And then I looked again and like nothing was there. My hot glue gun wasn't smoking. I don't know if like hallucinations is the right word, but like a lot of weird things happen to me like that where it's like puff of smoke, you know, like it's just, it's not actually there. It's just weird. These are all little minor things that like, I don't think they're ghosts. I think they're actually just like coincidences except for my dog the dog one actually and my sister's closet i think that one's weird but this one is definitely like weird i actually took videos explaining this one so i'm just gonna put those here that shifts but not by itself like that shifts all the time never that much it wouldn't shift that much over a day like i'd have to be repeatedly bu repeatedly bumping into it for that to what the hell who moved my desk my halloween decorations are like put really far up in my closet like they were all like up there and this could just be like gravity like weighing down on them because they're all like stacks kind of messy but like as soon as October started, they started falling out. Like, hey, decorate with me. Anyways, weird. Basically, I explained in the videos that like random things were like being moved in my room. Like things were just being moved. Like my desk, this is my wall, this is my desk. My desk was moved like this. Like this side was still on the wall, but this was like moved away. That one I couldn't explain, mainly because no one has been in my room in days because we've all been like sick. I just thought that was really weird because I haven't moved anything. I haven't even been over there, but when I woke up, my desk was away from my wall. And then other things happened, like I put a bracelet, like it was a- I had like a little gold chain bracelet, but the chain was like, you know how like you do this with a necklace and like the chain drops into like a little pile? I don't know if that makes sense, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but that's what I did with the bracelet and then I left my room. I went to the bathroom or something like that. I don't remember what I was doing. I think I was peeing. I leave the room and I come back and the necklace is like in like a triangle shape, like- you know what a triangle is. It was like a weirdly like curved triangle. Like someone spread the necklace out like this. Again, I don't know if that makes sense. All you need to know, necklace was in a triangle shape. So I go to my sister and I'm like, did you go in my room? Get out of my room. Why are you going in my room? She's like, what are you talking about? I didn't even go in your room. I didn't touch your stuff. Calm down. She didn't go in my room and touch the necklace. So who did? I mean, no one's just going to walk in my room and just play with the necklace on the dresser for no reason no one's just gonna go in my room to play with the bracelet for no reason and just walk out after doing that so i leave my room again and then when i came back the necklace was in the same pile it was before so yeah that was another thing that happened that nightstand has like a little pirate ship thing on it it was actually in one of my halls it was like my yard sale hall it's like a little ship and bottle thing i bump into that nightstand literally all the time so this definitely could just be that but like thing is this is the only thing that was messed up on the nightstand like none of the crystals in front of it were messed up like nothing on top of the nightstand was messed up which if i ever bump into that nightstand the first thing to get messed up is like i don't know if you could see but there's like a little angel statue behind all the many many cups over there and there's like a ring of like crystals not a ring but like a pattern of like crystals going this way on the outside of the angel statue so whenever i bump that nightstand like that's the first thing to get messed up not like the stuff on the bottom because it's like more sturdy down there and it doesn't move around as much it looked like i took my hand and like went like this and just shifted it on purpose because nothing else was moved only that was moved it was weird i don't think that one's a coincidence i'm not like scared or anything but i also don't think that these things are coincidences because i would definitely remember moving all of them and like these are the most random pieces of like decorations or like things in my room that i would not have a reason to move so so yeah that's a little ghost stories update for you guys the ones i've had in the past few months i just thought these were all really weird and couldn't be like explained away and the ones that could be explained i explained them i was gonna talk about like shadow people in this video but like I think I talked your ear off and I think you're sick of me this week but if you want me to make a video on shadow people let me know I feel like that would be really fun but anyways if you like this video and you want more spooky season content please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe also make sure you go follow me on all of my socials they're at Ava Mercedes except for my snapchat which is at Ava underscore five six nine eight hopefully next week I don't sound like I'm dying and I'm not actually dying all right I'm gonna go Okay, bye.